Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of Nomadic Dimitri channel. Please subscribe to this channel because it's actually needed at this point. There will be even more videos about travel, my experiences and anything in between basically. So today is a story time. Today I'm gonna tell you the story that happened to me two years ago actually. So I was playing my trip to Oregon in February of 2018. It was February and it was actually snowing and I thought like wow it's gonna be just like uh, last week and then winter is gonna be gone. So I thought like well it's not a big deal <laughs> i was so basically wrong i was so wrong at so many points that i actually I didn't regret my decision to go there, but I still decided to go and explore the beautiful Oregon, Washington state, basically like the whole coastal kind of thing, right? And I thought that camping opportunities will be there and I'll be able to camp just like as usual, just like I go there, there's some camping spot, I just like park my car and I travel. And I decided, yeah, to go anyway. That travel happened in my regular car, my Honda Civic. I was traveling in my Honda Civic and I thought, yeah, it's gonna be fine. Well, okay, guess why it was fine because I didn't burn much gas and it was cheap to travel but I think I better travel in my van because it has so much more room and it's so much more comfortable to drive long distances anyway I traveled to Oregon and then I went up to Washington state and after Washington state after actually finding a couple of camping spots even like in the winter time I decided to actually go to Canada I thought like why not go to Canada Canada is like I like this place I've been to Canada before um, actually flew to Toronto many years ago but I decided well, why not to go and try again but this time in the car well I was actually not expecting that kind of problems that I experienced so I drove to the Canada border and right at the border crossing the officer was asking me a question the Canadian officer was asking me a question where are you going how long are you gonna stay purpose of the visit and I, I just said straight like my purpose of the visit is camping for that reason the officer said like hey come on did, don't you see the weather around it's actually like storm predicted very soon like where are you going what's the point and I thought no I actually want to go to Canada I actually want to visit this beautiful place so they searched my whole car asked me more questions like are you sure that you want to and like I don't know so probably they were like say thinking that mm, this guy is like going there alone go camping in the winter so they were like probably a bit confused at that <laughs> so I actually went they let me through after like 10 minutes of discussions but it was fine I went to Canada and had amazing time amazing like three days my favorite place was Stanley Park this is my one of the favorite places in the Vancouver probably the most favorite place during the time it was fine actually there was a snowstorm I was trying to shovel my car off the snow uh, remove the snow and actually drive around but I decided just to park my car and just explore my food because public transportation in Vancouver is great like I liked it especially compared to United States the coastal area of, of the California I mean it's it's great I like it uh, it was great um, so then I decided to go back to US I, I thought like okay it's gonna be not a big deal going back to US because I'm a United States citizen I'm just going back right I'm just going back home uh, well it was not actually that easy when I approached the border and right on the border uh, again the same kind of questions happened but this time from the United States officers they were asking me like what was the purpose of your visit what have you done do you have any drugs marijuana do you have anything and I said well I don't have anything they started to search my car they searched my car over looked all around just looking for any clues because they were also confused they thought like this guy coming um, from Canada in the winter he said he was camping uh, <laughs> So I think for, for them it was also confusing but it seems so many questions uh, were asked like what was the purpose like how long did you stay where did you stay and where are you going back how long you're going to stay in the Washington state and I was thinking like hey guys like I'm US citizen why are you asking all that kind of questions to me like I, I can stay uh, as much as I can in Washington state and then they decided to ask me like uh, what I'm doing for a living I said I'm freelancing I'm doing some freelance gigs they were probably not really satisfied with this answer they like hmm, like what is his work work they like there was like lots of questions and again they searched my car completely like removed all the stuff it was intimidating I should say and I didn't like that experience but at the same time what can I say it is like I guess part of the deal there are probably some people sneaking around some bad people sneaking around something so uh, this is their job so I guess while it's not great maybe that's that's what they need to do probably I don't know I think it was over they were overreacting it was probably too much so I came back to Washington State with a bit confusing feeling 
uh, I was thinking that uh, it's not that great. I mean, what? Why? Why have they done all this stuff? All these questions? And I'm just like typical frugal traveler. I didn't have any possessions there. I just like was just enjoying my time there in Canada in Washington. Anyway, so I camped. After I returned back, I camped in the nice campground in Washington State. It was really beautiful, peaceful there, nice. Um, I loved it. Anyway, so this whole experience of border crossing and this whole like negative emotions I was experiences experiencing it was all vibed and I felt good I thought wow this is actually not bad I love the nature I love the air I love to breathe this air right I mean this is great and life is good <laughs> so that's my message today even though sometimes it might be confusing and some experiences might be intimidating it all gonna turn out fine at the end enjoy peace look around there are so much more than just all those emotions and this kind of experiences there are so much more you're gonna love it so thank you guys for watching and goodbye see you next time and please 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 subscribe to this channel <laughs> thank you